What is up everybody? This is Lyle with No Hippie Trucking and Transport Wannabe. And I've been trying to come up with some quick and easy recipes that a lot of truck drivers could do while they're out there on the road. Now one of the appliances that I think that would be, it's not a necessity, but it's definitely a good thing to have on the truck would be an air fryer. I'm going to put that above a slow cooker, pressure cooker, or any other thing. Anyway, we'll get into that in videos down the road as to why I think that is the best appliance to have. Now, as far as these recipes go, I am dialing them down because we need to cut down our ingredients and we're not going to be always dealing with chopping our own things or using multiple spices. Now, this air fried uh, fish taco recipe is something that I thought about and I thought it would be perfect to... Uh, cook while you're out on a truck so let's come on in and take a look at these ingredients and kind of what I'm changing to make this trucker friendly. Here's the ingredients we're going to need for these easy fish tacos. First of all instead of cutting our own cabbage and all that kind of stuff we're just going to use a, a bag cabbage that you would buy that's already pre-made. So typically I would be making fish tacos with sliced onions and jalapenos. As much as I'd like it we're not going to be able to get into that in this recipe. Instead of buying and using fresh avocados, what we're going to be using is this holy guacamole. It's already a pre-made guacamole and actually this tastes really good. It does not have that uh, preservative taste like you find in a lot of those avocados that are already pre-made. This is going to come in handy for saving some time. Now we're also going to be using some Mexican crema. This could be sour cream or even mayonnaise and this is going to be part of our uh, slaw mixture as well. Rather than using fresh limes, save a little bit of time. Let's go ahead and use the uh, lime juices in a bottle. The street tacos we're going to be using, typically I like the corn tacos or, you know, the corn tortillas. But what's going to happen is you're going to spend a little bit of time cooking those off. So rather than worrying about that, all we need to do is throw these in the air fryer for a little bit once we're done cooking everything and warm them up. That's great. We have some sugar. Now, if I'm at a truck stop, I would just use the sugar from the, you know, whatever the packets are that you have in there. Uh, so uh, that's what I would use if I'm on the road. Uh, but I'm just using a little bit of sugar here. Now, cilantro. I love fresh cilantro, but you know what? When I'm out on the road, I'm not gonna be able to buy any fresh cilantro. And if you're cooking this at home and you don't, and you wanna save the time from rinsing it, chopping it, all that, if you go to Walmart, do not go to the spice section where they sell salt, pepper, all that. If you go to the Mexican section, you can buy this uh, dried cilantro. This here, if you buy it from the spice rack, is costing like almost $5. This was 79 cents. Get some of that. Now to save time with spices, normally I would get a little deeper in my spices, but just go with any all-purpose spice. You know, I'm using Slap Your Mama, but... Uh, you know, seasoned salt or something like that will work just as well, or even just salt and pepper. To save a bunch of time, rather than battering our own uh, fish or coating our own fish, we're going with the frozen fish. Now the, Gor the Gortons has this type here that is not minced, and they also have the minced uh, fish sticks that are a little bit less. I actually enjoy both of them, but for video purposes, we're going with a little bit of a higher quality a fish stick. Getting back to this uh, sugar, what I would really like to use, and I, I have it here, but I'm trying to come up with something that's going to also adapt well to cooking on the road, is I would use honey uh, in place of that sugar. Those are our ingredients right there. Let's get this slaw made up. This slaw is going to be something that you want to make up. If you have time, it'll still work if you, if you don't, but it works even greater if you have a chance to make the slaw and let it sit in uh, the refrigerator for at least an hour. Let's get so to like it. I mentioned earlier, these are going to be some pretty basic fish tacos. We're using pre-breaded uh, fish and we're going with some pretty basic ingredients. If you're looking for recipes with fish that I've coated on my own and maybe more in depth as far as the ingredients go, I'm going to leave links to some videos that accommodate all that up in the i card above run by there and take a look if you're looking for some other different fish tacos i might even have a shrimp taco up in there as well 
Now the first thing we need to do is we need to come up with our uh, slaw mix. So what we're going to do is we're going to combine our guacamole with some with our crema. Like I said, you can use uh, sour cream as well. It would be a great addition. Now I'm making about four times as much as I would be making on the road. If I was making this on the road, I'd probably make enough for two or three tacos. This is probably going to be enough for about six to eight tacos. And what I'm looking to do is combine this until it's uh, almost the thickness of like a thin sour cream almost. All right, so we got that avocado crema mixed together. We're going with some lime juice and we're just eyeballing this. This isn't a recipe where you're gonna be out there looking up ingredients and amounts and things like that. And hit it with a little bit of seasoning. Like I said, I'm using Slap Your Mama. Use whatever you'd like. And I would really like to add some jalapenos and stuff, but I'm trying to, like I said, keep this very simple. We have our cilantro. And I'm a cilantro fan. I'm gonna go pretty heavy on this. Let's get our sugar in. All right, let's go ahead and taste this. That is perfect. Now, really, all that we need to do, I mean, this is as complicated as it gets, because once we get the slaw made, all we need to do is throw our fish in the air fryer for maybe 12, 14 minutes, and that's a wrap. So let's uh, get our slaw in without trying to get it everywhere. And I may not use this whole bag. I think that's enough right there. So I'm just gonna go with what we have. I'm gonna get this in the refrigerator. I'm gonna let it chill out for about an hour and a half, two hours, and we'll get to the rest of this. What we're gonna do is try to follow the oven instructions for these fish sticks as close as possible. Uh, what they're suggesting is 450 degrees uh, for a total of seven or 15 to 17 minutes, flipping in 10 minutes. What I'm gonna do is go with our highest temperature, which is 400 degrees, and then we'll check them in 10 minutes and flip them if we need to. So let's get with that. All right, let's get it in, 400 degrees. We'll check it in 10 minutes. About 10 minutes in on this. I'm gonna pull them out, check them, and see what we're looking like. And actually, these are pretty crispy. Rather than flipping them, I'm just gonna give them a shake. I don't think it even needs that. So I'm gonna go another 10 minutes, and these should be done, and we'll be ready to hook up these fish tacos. Fish sticks have cooked a total of 15 minutes and they're completely done. I took one out, ate it, that's good to go. What I'm gonna do now is heat up one tortilla and once it's cooked for about a minute and a half, two minutes, we'll go ahead and make a taco. So these fish sticks and the tortilla are good to go. I'm gonna pull out my tortilla. And I don't know, let's just go for two of these fish sticks and put together one of these tacos. Now I will be plating these things up a little bit better, but I just wanted to get right into these right now. Well, I think one and a half of those would be perfect on this. Just gonna hit it with a little bit of hot sauce. And like I said, these would be really good with some salsa or something like that but like i said trying to keep this easy and as you'll see later these things are going to plate up nicely let's get in
Listen, whether you're a truck driver or a busy mom or whatever it is, if you're looking for something quick and easy, listen, go get you some fish sticks, some pre bagged cabbage, and make up this slaw quick and easy meal. Anyway, for those of you guys checking me out on No Hippie Trucking and Transport, I do appreciate it. And also you guys that are watching me on No Hippie Barbecue and Cooking, I appreciate you as well. Comment, subscribe, and I'm out.